Hello and welcome back to my daily solve of the Exit the Game Advent Calendar. Uh, today is day five. We've sold days one to four so far. So it's time to move on and have a look at day five. And now, as always, I start by looking at the storybook which it came with. So I will discard the thing which has all the hints in. Hopefully I won't need that. Let's put that over here. And I will go to the storybook and let's see what today's story is. So 5th of December, tear out the story. Oh, the story looks interesting. <laughs> and let's see what the is to say just one side okay right so let's have a look at this okay so the story says that you moved the blue books that you identified on the shelves yesterday and then it swung open as a secret door and you come into a room which is being used as a monitoring station for surveillance and creepily there's a stack of polaroid photos and one of them is labeled first of december and it's of you entering the cave that's not very nice is it on the card, on the cork board, it says, hand a few notes and souvenirs with dates on. On one of the notes is something about a certain Reinhold coming closer than anyone else. And for some reason, it says, the name Reinhold means something to you, but you don't know what. You then read another note that says, go through the hatch. And sure enough, there's a hatch on the floor fastened with a combination lock. There must be another clue somewhere that you can use to guess the correct code. Now open door five. Okay, so here we go. Let's get the physical advent counter. And let's find door five that we labelled yesterday. So it's up over here. And let's see what's inside. Well, here we go. All right. Oh. Okay, the pack of the door's black. I think that's really not much use. I'm going to tear it off. As neatly as always. Oh, look at that. Such a nice clean cut. Um, right, okay. And we have what's in here. Oh. We have two discs with numbers on. Now, if you're familiar with the standard X at the game games, the long advent calendar ones, they always have decoder discs in that rotate around, and this looks like it's very similar, though much smaller. Um, there's no hole punched in the middle, and yet there is a hole here. Maybe there's a pin to push through. Let's keep looking in the box. Looks like I don't need this bit of cardboard. So let's discard that. What else is in here? Oh, yep, yeah, a pin. Okay, pin tack. So we're going to push that through the middle so we can make a decoder disc. And then what's this? Riddle card E. Anything else in there? No. Riddle card E. It says, The evidence is clear to see that Reinhold was in search of me. So now your job is just to fix a pin between the circle discs. The top of the eye should be the circle centre to find the days that Reinhold spent here. Okay, and then I've got uh, like a, it's sort of like a glove, um, a brush and a slipper or sp pool shoe of some sort. Presumably these give us these three things correspond to the three numbers I need to find because as always each day I need to find a three digit number to work out where the next advent calendar door is. Right so let's have a look at this. Where is this letter I it's talking about? Is it on here? No. I don't think I is on the disc. Well I clearly need to push the pin through the middle. So is there something in particular I should be sticking the pin? Perhaps there is, perhaps there isn't. For now, I'll just stick it into the into the calendar itself in a random place. Make sure these line up nicely. Ouch, okay. Should take a bit more care, shouldn't I? Um, okay, so clearly I'm going to be seen all the way through, so it probably doesn't matter very much where I put it. Um, assuming that's what's going to be happening. So let's just put this aside a second. Okay, so let's have a look at this room. So on the right hand side of the room is a filing cabinet and a clock and a chair and then a tube that comes around, um, a desk in the middle. And on the other wall we have some dates, 23rd of June, 3rd of August, 15th of November. And let's have a look at the bottom of the room as well. There are some bits of paper and a that's the thing we've got to open isn't it? And what about the top? That looks blank. Okay, so I think we've seen all the four sides of the room now. Um, and there's a bit of paper printing out, it mentions in the story. I don't think we pin the, the spinny thing, the uh, decoder disc, on there in particular. Let me note this down. So we've got the 23rd of June for the glove. Okay, what else? We've got the 3rd of August for the brush um, and then finally for the slipper I'll call it a slipper but the 15th or maybe a shoe 15th November for the shoe okay so let's have a look at our dial again okay so 
we conceivably can put these in. Have we got 23? Yeah, we've got 23 and 3 and 15. So we can dial this. And for the months, 6 for June, 8 for August, 11 for November. Great, so we can dial these. We just need to work out where to put this. So we're seeing numbers through it. Okay, so here's the calendar. It's a bit better, isn't it? And what can we see? On the edge here. Oh wait, you can't see. Ah, now what's this? That's the name, isn't it? Reinhold. Reinhold was here. Ah, look, and there's the objects we've just been looking at as well. The brush, the glove, and the shoe. Well, that can't be a coincidence. Now, what was it the card said? Let's just put that down there. The card said, The evidence is clear to see that Reinhold was in search of me. So now your job is just to fix a pin between the circle discs. We've done that. The top of the eye should be the circle centre to find the days that Reinhold spent here. The top of the eye. What's the top of the eye? What does that mean? Oh, the top of the eye of Reinhold. Okay, fine. So I put the disc in the eye of Reinhold. Like that. Aha, fine. Okay, so there's our disc. And now we already worked out that we needed to have the 23rd of June for the glove. So I guess I point the glove at the 23rd of June. So June is the sixth month. Okay, that lines up. There's a, a line coming across there. I need the 23rd. So 23rd of June. Well, now across the middle, I can see four bars here, three bars here. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that represents seven for the 23rd of June as a glove. Okay, let's see if this is right. And then the 3rd of August is a brush. So let's find the, the brush is here. And so August is the 8th month. And the 3rd of August, there's the 3. Now what can I see now? I can see a 2. So I'm going to guess that's a 2. And then the 15th of November for a shoe. So let's put a November here. On the no, that's not a shoe, is it? Where's the shoe here? That would be an error, wouldn't it? 15th November on the shoe, I can see just a 1. So I'm going to guess my code is 721. <laughs> Alright, let's find out if we're correct. Let's just point this down again, move that out of the way. Where's my decoder gone? Here. Right, so let's just zoom in. Um, we've got a code of light off. 721. Alright, 7, 2, one, that's 721, isn't it? Let's turn it over and see what we're supposed to do next. We're supposed to go down, down right and left. And if we're right, the combination will be diamond, hexagon, hexagon. So let's have a look at our, our calendar. Let's switch back to the other view. And we, we are here today. Here's the room. So we're going down, down right and left. And we should have diamond, Hexagon, hexagon, excellent. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, what a lovely little puzzle. So diamond, hexagon, hexagon is going to be day six. And we're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was actually a really nice puzzle, I thought. I hope you'll uh, join me again tomorrow when I try and solve day six. And also check out my links to have a look at some other videos I'm recording. So I'm solving two other puzzle advent calendars every day during Advent. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well, because that way you'll get prompted, I think, to see all the other videos as well. All right, thank you very much. Bye.